whenever there is an announcement coming, there is also the discrediting. Mm. Uh, there is a, a glory that has begun moving in the body of Christ. Mm. The new uh, thing that the Lord is doing, mm. uh, the enemy is also lo looking to announce things yeah. so that it discredits the voice of God through that environment, mm -hmm. that person or that church. You know, how do we watch out uh, and how do we pray some of these things out? Yeah. Because many people do not know that criticism is an announcement of your potential. Yes. You know, yes. because it's just basically somebody availing themselves to the enemy to pick holes yeah. as to something they admire. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> and, you know? and what you said, um, when something new comes in, the enemy wants to take it out because it's at its weakest, at its birth. And God is birthing something new in the church in this time. And one of the ways, it was something that Chuck had mentioned, is now is the time to watch how we celebrate. Mm -hmm. And again, it's one of those words that I wanted to un unpack in my time with the Lord, mm -hmm. because it's com it comes from the book of Esther, when Esther threw a party. Mm -hmm. There was joy, there was food, there was drink, there was singing, and we get a chance to celebrate through our praise and worship. Mm -hmm. And what we celebrate, we empower as mm -hmm. well. So we have this opportunity to celebrate what God is doing instead of thinking about, as we've said, the negative. But also it's a time where we've got to um, be mo emotionally resilient. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to, to want to dwell on the negative. Um, and there's something that we've been speaking about at Revival Fires lately, and that's the ability to come into full deliverance is determined by your ability to celebrate. So good. So let me unpack that a little bit. If you think about um, Miriam and the children of God, when they came through the Red Sea, what marked their deliverance was them singing the song of Miriam. If you think about, let's fast forward to the New Testament. We have this beautiful story in the, in the prodigal son, Luke 15. Jesus talking about these two brothers. One comes home. What seals his deliverance? Celebration mm -hmm. in the father's house. Mm -hmm. Yet there's another son, the older son, who refuses to come home and his inability to celebrate mm -hmm. determines his deliverance. Mm -hmm. So there's a song, there's a sound. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love as a praise and worship leader, but also in our church, because one of the battles in this season that we've been through has been a battle for celebration. Yeah. If you look in places, we're all wearing masks. We've all been told we can't sing, we mm -hmm. can't celebrate. There's been a battle for celebration, mm -hmm. a battle for sound. But let me tell you, you can celebrate in your home even today. That's so good. You don't need to be wearing a mask. You can celebrate with a mask on. It might feel different, but we need to come to that place where we can celebrate. Yeah. There's a sound um, that, that brings forth our deliverance. Yeah. There's a song, a new song. Another thing Chuck loves to say that we've, we've grabbed a hold of. And he says, a new songs break old cycles. That's so true. And there's a song of celebration. Even as spring is dawning here in the UK, wherever you're watching, we need to celebrate our victories. Yeah. We need to have the ability to stand with the Lord in faith in what He says and mm -hmm. overcome the enemy. So true. 